Hello friends, this video straight line part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched straight line part 1 to part 18. The question says that P and Q are the length of perpendiculars from the origin to the line x cos theta minus phi sin is equal to k cos to theta and x sec theta plus y cos theta is equal to k respectively we have to prove that p square plus 4 q square is equal to k square let's draw the line first this is one line this is one line let's suppose this line is let's suppose x cos theta minus y sin theta is equal to k cos two theta let's suppose this is the equation for the first line for second line the equation is this one that is x sec theta plus y cosec theta is equal to k now it says that from per from origin if you draw line here if you draw a line here this length is p this is origin 0 comma 0 and this is q this is p and this is q we have to prove that p square plus 4 q square is equal to k square Let's first find the value of P. P is nothing but mod of because you take the positive value and uh, this is 0, 0. So this will become 0, this will become 0. We know the D is nothing but AX plus BY plus C by root of A square plus B square. Here both x and y is 0, so here will the value will be c y root of a square plus b square. Correct? Because we are talking origin as the point of reference. So p will be k cos 2 theta divided by root of a is x, a is cos theta actually, cos theta square plus b is minus sin theta minus sin theta square this will be the value of p so this becomes cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 so this becomes k cos of 2 theta by 1 so this becomes k cos 2 theta similar for q q will be k by root of this is sec square theta plus cos x square theta this will be the value of k so sec and cos x you can write as sec square theta is equal to 1 by cos square theta and cos x square theta is 1 by sin square theta so this will become k into sin theta into cos theta by root of sin square theta plus cos square theta correct so this will become k of sin theta cos theta why because sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so we have p we have q now let's try to find the value of p square plus or q square that is what we are asked to find this is equal to k square cos 2 theta whole square plus 4 k square sin theta cos theta whole square correct now k square will take common cos 2 theta is nothing but 2 cos square theta minus 1 correct cos 2 theta is 2 cos square theta minus 1 2 square plus 4 into sin square theta cos square theta this is the value we get or 
this becomes k square into 4 cos 4 theta plus 1 minus 2 into 2 4 cos square theta plus 4 sin square theta cos square correct so what we get here is what we get here is k square into 4 cos square theta will take common this will become cos square theta minus 1 plus 1 plus 4 cos square theta into sin square theta correct cos square theta minus 1 is good to will find sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so cos square theta minus 1 cos square theta minus 1 is equal to minus sin square theta thus cos square theta minus 1 I can write minus sin square theta so if I write this is equal to k square minus 4 cos square theta into sin square theta plus 1 plus 4 cos square theta sin square theta so this and this will get cancelled so this is nothing but k square and that is what we are asked to prove so we have proved that t square plus 4 q square is equal to k square so what we have done here we have found the value of first we have drawn the graph from graph things are clear we understood the problem properly that from origin there are two lines we are drawing the perpendicular the length of perpendicular is p and q and we have to prove that p square plus 4 q square is equal to k square we found the value of p we found the value of q and then we wrote p plus 4 q square in lhs we solved the equation to get rhs is equal to k square and that is what we are in a triangle abc with vertices 2 3 4 minus 1 1 2 we have to find the equation and the length of altitude from vertex A. Let's draw this first. This is a triangle. This is a triangle with vertices A, B, and C. A is 2, comma 3. B is 4, comma minus 1, and C is 1, comma 2. To find the equation length of altitude from what is A, this is the altitude, this is from A. Now we have to find the length, we have to find D and we also have to find the equation of this line L. Let me extend this, we will call this equation as L. To find the length D, we have to have the equation of line BC. There only we can find using the distance formula, this is the point 2 comma 3, from this we can find the length so let's find the equation of line bc so for line bc we have m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 this is 2 minus minus 1 by 1 minus 4 that is 3 by minus c that is minus 1 so the equation of line bc equation of line BC is nothing but y minus y naught is equal to m into x minus x naught. So here we can say y minus 2 is equal to minus 1 into x minus 1. Or we can say y minus 2 plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 or we can say x plus y minus this is minus 1 so this is minus actually minus 3 is equal to 0 this is the equation of line bc now if you have to find the length of perpendicular from point a to bc the formula if d is nothing but mod of ax plus by plus c that is a x1 plus b x y1 plus c by root of a square plus b square. So that value comes out to be 
a is 1 here right into x1 is 2 y is also 1 here because 1 into y into y1 is 3 minus 3 by root of 1 square plus 1 square so what we get is 2 plus 3 minus 3 this is the answer so 2 by root 2 that is root 2 so the d is root 2 the length of the length of altitude from vertex a is root 2 that we have found now we have to find the equation of this line this one and this point p equation of line a p that is this line now we know that this is root 2 first if if we can find the slope of this line and we know 2 and 3 is the point in this line a we can find the equation so the slope of line al or ap into slope of line bc is equal to minus 1 because they are perpendicular so we can say slope of line ap into bc slope of line bc is minus 1 we have found already is equal to minus 1 this minus one minus one cancel so slope of line ab is nothing but 1 that we have got now we have the slope of line ap and we have this point also 2 comma 3 we can find the equation equation is nothing but y minus y naught is equal to m into x minus x naught this comes out to be y minus 3 is equal to 1 into x minus 2 or we can say x minus y plus 3 minus 2 is equal to 0 or we can say x plus sorry or we can say x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0 this is the equation of the line ap that is the answer so this is the equation of the line ap so what we have done here first we found the equation of line bc why we found because we wanted to find the value of d to find the value of d we should know the equation of line and we should know the point the point where we know the equation of line was not known to us we found the equation of line bc now once we had this equation of line bc we use the distance formula to get the distance d in second part we were supposed to find the equation of line ap we found the slope of line ap that is 1 this is ap slope of line ap is 1 and then we use this formula y minus y naught is equal to m into x minus x naught to get the equation. So this is the equation of line AP x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.